Hi everyone, we're here with Abel Sanchez, or as Tom calls you, the mad scientist behind Gennady Golovkin. Abel, we have Gennady Golovkin facing Danny Jacobs. I was talking to him uh, just a few mom moments ago, and I was telling him that he is rising in popularity. He's a big, uh, he has lots of fans, you know, for his fan fa fan friendly uh, attitude. Style. Well, yeah, style, style yes. his power, but also um, his chin. Like, you know, he's not, he hasn't been dropped. Um, in the uh, professional and as, as an amateur and I was telling him is it genetics you know what is it he said genetics he said I guess thanks to his mom and dad what do you think about that I agree with that but it's not only that I think it's the hard work that he puts in in the gym but in order for the hard work to, to pay off and to help you have to have something to work it off of and, and I think he's right I think genetics um, uh, I think uh, lifestyle uh, and training is uh, a big part of why he has uh, such good resistance, I guess, to punches. Yeah. Have you seen any other fighter that that's similar to that? That's been with me, no. But there was a couple guys in the history. Um, a guy named um, uh, shoot a heavyweight. Uh, I forget his name now. But anyway, was never knocked down. Was never knocked out. Uh, um, but it's seldom that God gives you that resistance and that you're able to. Um, capitalize on it. Julio Cesar Chavez had a great chin for a long, long time, and then his lifestyle changed that. His lifestyle changed that because he wasn't training as hard, he was partying too much. So, uh, if you do the right things, I think that uh, uh, you can keep that invincibility, aura of invincibility. And I asked him, because we've heard that he has sparred with heavyweights and, and, you know, light heavyweights and heavyweights. And I asked him if anyone has heard him. He said, no. <laughs> he said, nobody has heard him. I mean, I don't know what you've seen during sparring sessions, but I get, he said it's it's really hard to, to hurt him. Well, I've never seen him hurt, but I think it's not because the other guys can't hurt him. Is it isn't, He doesn't allow them to hurt him. He doesn't put himself in a position to be hit with a clean shot because anybody can be hurt. I don't care who you are. You, you get hit in the right spot, you're going to be hurt. But he is uh, so capable of, of deflecting in, in his experience with 350 amateur fights and all the pro fights that he's had. Um, his, uh, his ability to, to see things coming and not get caught with a clean shot, I think it lays a big, big foundation for that. And now he's